bridge that comes with my lyres is just a plain sanded willow bridge. The original lyres had string spacings between three and a half to four millimetres wide. Um, and, and so if we aim for about four millimetres um, on this particular model, um, so we mark a centre point and then we mark 10 millimetres either side of the centre point. And then what we need to do is to mark four millimetres and then make a mark. Again, four millimetres and make a mark. Four millimetres. Four millimetres. Okay, so we roughly have four millimetre spacing. Then what we need to do is to mark that with a knife. So we have our spacing. We just mark on the top as well. You want to get it as even as possible so that there's the same space between each one. We can adjust it once we've cut it into it a little bit, but try and keep the spacings equal. Okay. Um, the file I'm using is sort of a round bottomed needle file. one side and then do the other side. Using the pencil line as a guide to try and keep the, the cut straight. And here we are. Now we can make, we can make some adjustments um, by angling the cut a little bit on the top here to make sure that all we call that one needs to be filed a little bit more. Um, but we'll, we'll leave the rest of the adjustments when the strings are on to see whether there's any buzzing. Uh, in that case, we'll, then we'll just round the top off a little bit more. Um, okay, so we've got our tail piece gut. This is um, synthetic nylon, uh, about 1.8, 1.9 millimeters. Uh, it's tied with copper wire. Very simple. Um, uh, it's glued as well as tied at the end. We have our dowel stick. This has been simply turned so there's a groove to receive the gut on either side. And we just pop it on. Okay, so we take our tail gut, we hook it over the end of the lyre. Now this stage is just going to be loose and that's fine, we can leave it loose. We start with the thickest string, which is the, um, the low G string. We're going to, you hook it under and then we need to tie a figure of eight knot and once we have a figure of eight knot then we simply insert the, the gut through there and then we pull tight We take our string, we insert it in the hole, we pull it as tight as we can for the moment. We loop it around and we tie a knot on the thicker strings because we can't insert them twice through the pin. So we tied a small knot there. Okay, now we can put that under a little bit of tension. tension. So we have one string on and you, as you can see the tail piece is, is not balanced yet because there's only one string holding it. So we, what we now do is put them on the highest string, which is the one on the far right hand side and we pull this string on to bring the tail piece under, equally under tension. So again, we go under the, under the dowel, we tie a knot, um, figure of eight in this example. Then we insert the end of the string through the knot. And we pull tight. With the, with the thinner strings, the top three strings, you can probably reinsert. So you pull the string as tight as you can get it, and then you reinsert the string into the hole, 
and this just stops it slipping um, and then you can put some just low tension on the string for now just just enough to and all we're going to do at this end is to equalize the tension we're going to sort of get the strings in, in place where we want them to be. The, the strings aren't up to the pitch yet, so we can move them around a little bit. We can make see how things go. Now with the string spacing um, at, on the dowel stick, what we want to do is have a straight line as far as possible from the pin to the dowel. So what we need to do is to make sure the spacing here reflects that. So we have to sort of adjust it. You can see exactly what's happened now. I've equalized the strings. Um, that's the six and the first string. And it goes all the way up to the top of the line. Okay, so that's the first two strings. Now what we do now, we do the second and the fifth, and finally the third and the fourth string, in exactly the same way. Okay, so all those strings are on now. I haven't trimmed the ends, these loose ends just yet, but I did that before. Um, and just look at the end here. You can see how, even though I've put the strings on light tension, it hasn't pulled the tailpiece over yet. So what we need to do that manually, we just there we go. Just need to make sure that this is nice and straight. Okay, now we're ready to put the bridge on. Take the bridge and you insert it under the strings, and then you put it in here, and then you pull it you, without touching the soundboard until you get to the center. Okay, we just make sure every string rides on its own string groove. Okay. So we have the tailpiece under tension. We'll just make sure it's tidied up there so that it's over the groove uh, in the groove that we made. Equalized here, and every groove neatly here. Okay, now we're ready to tune in. What we need to do now is to gradually bring the strings up to pitch. Um, we might not you might want to do this over a couple of days rather than um, all in one go. Uh, there's two ways of doing it. Either you bring the strings up gradually, or as you go, you can pull the string and stretch it as you go. Around about a month after, after putting the strings on, you find that the lyre will start to improve its sound. It will become um, a little bit more focused and a bit more loud, and uh, the tone will start to change a little, a little bit. Uh, this is just due to the way the wood works with sound. Um, you, you experience it with the guitars and with violins and other instruments. But the sound will improve over time. It's a solid piece of wood. Uh, the sound will get better. Put some masking um, tape on the strings to pull them out of the way. Because I don't want to cut the strings off yet. I want to leave them for, um, probably for a couple of days while the strings are stretching. Um, I've just tuned it in. questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below or to email me at mjk at michaeljking.com thanks very much for watching goodbye <laughs>